Hey developers, this is Benton Belcher from the Map.net team. Today we're excited to do the first public demo of a new product called TouchGeo. TouchGeo is a powerful HTML5 code base that you can use to build any type of mobile data collection or spatial data editing solution. TouchGeo is built with ISC's Map.net technology, and in addition to the HTML5 front end, TouchGeo includes REST services that can integrate with SQL Server 2008. SQL Server 2012, SQL Azure, or Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Today I'll be showing some of the capabilities of the HTML5 client, um, but we'll also, over the coming weeks, uh, start to release some short videos like this that demonstrate some more of the back-end configuration and developer th tools and tasks that you can do with the product. So right now, let's go ahead and jump on in. So the first thing we're going to do is log into the app. There's advanced authentication built in, and you can extend it to meet your authentication requirements. You'll notice along the bottom that there's a nice tab strip that allows you to toggle a panel on and off. Those panels are used for you know, the layer legend list and the editing, data editing panel. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to, um, well, you can toggle between being aerial view and being uh, road view. What I'm going to do first is show you editing a polygon. So I'm going to click Add there. Um, and when editing a polygon, you can put in you know, different types of uh, supporting attribute information. Um, text box, lookup values, boolean, date times are supported, numerics, uh, as well as taking a photo and, um, and uploading it. So I'm going to take this photo and add it to to my record here. And the next thing I'm going to do is actually draw the spatial feature on the map. So this is just a simple polygon that we're drawing out here. If you already had a bunch of polygons out on the map and you wanted to edit one of them, certainly do that. We'll demonstrate how to do that in just a second. So once I've drawn my shape, I can then save it and the map redraws, meaning that the shape and all the attribute information have been stored in the database. In this case, we're using SQL 2012. So next I'll geolocate myself on the map, um, zooming into our office here in Tallahassee, and um, we can add a point feature to the map. So again, I'll click, uh, this time I'll click editor down at the bottom, and you can launch the editor that way and add a new feature. So I'll just enter in some text. So you'll notice that um, after placing the point out on the map, I'm, I've got these different data types and, and this UI that really uh, looks like it belongs on an iPhone. That's because we're using Kindo Mobile UI to um, to skin the app, and it looks a little bit different on the Android, and a little bit different on um, Windows 8 uh, in Metro mode. So, but this is just the, uh, the iOS version. So the other data type that we support editing is a is a line. So not only can you do points and polygons on the map, but you can also draw line features. Um, so we'll just draw a little ad hoc line here down to my favorite beach. Um, so go ahead and, and put that information again. You'll notice when I'm entering in the text this time, there's a red star by the uh, value. You can flag records as being required or not required. You can set default values. Um, really, the, the data types, it's, it's endless to how many data types you have in a, in a single record. It just depends on how many attributes you're capturing about the features that you're drawing out on the map. So next I'll, um, I'm going to go back into the layer legend list and select the polygon. And what I did there was I clicked on the map to actually select that polygon and brought out a call out. And from that call out I, I launched uh, the editor again. And this time we were actually able to edit the, the shape itself. So. Um, we can edit the shape or the attributes and then resubmit it and it goes straight back into the database. Finally, we've got a search feature that allows you to search um, the shapes that you've created or that are already exist and you can quickly locate those on the map. Um, so that's uh, pretty much the very quick intro of the, of the HTML5 TouchGeo front end. And as I mentioned early on, we're going to have a few more videos that showcase this um, and how to extend this app and use the backend REST services to do um, more advanced things, including integration with Microsoft Dynamics CRM. 
Um, right now we're in a, in a private beta with some select customers and we're going to be releasing this to the broader market um, within the coming weeks. So please shoot us an email or check back on our website to find out more.